hey what's up guys today's video is a how to video and i'm going to show you how you can add your documents to your kindle ebook reader and then enjoy them with all the benefits of an ebook reader so let's get started straight away first of all you can add any document to your kindle device but the process is not as straightforward basically every kindle device has a unique email id that you have to access and then use it to transfer any content to your ebook reader here is how this works first on your ebook reader go in settings then go in your account. Here you will find send to Kindle email ID. Copy this email ID. Now all you have to do is send whatever documents or books you want to transfer to your Kindle to this email ID. But only use the email that you have registered on your Kindle account to send these documents. Otherwise, this will not work. Another important thing to take note of here is that this only works with specific file formats. But if you're using formats like Microsoft Word doc or even PDF files, you'll be fine. And I will also share the screenshot of all the formats that you can use for this purpose. After all of this is done, it will literally just take minutes before the file appears on your Kindle reader. But you will not find it in your ebooks library. To access these files, you have to go in filter settings and then select docs as the default filter. And here you will see all your transferred documents. Now in terms of the reading experience of these documents, if you are transferring PDFs, it behaves like any other ebook until you start to realize that it really doesn't. It looks and feels like an ebook, but there are some caveats. The table of contents is not clickable, so you will not be able to switch between chapters quickly. Secondly, when you try to open contents, it appears empty. And when you zoom in and out to change the font, it does not adjust the page and simply zooms in and out of the page, which translates to a very limited experience. Also, Font and layout options are not available like they are for ebooks. However, you can still highlight the text on PDFs and even take notes. Overall, you have to remember that the PDF files also work as PDFs even on Kindle devices and the conversion to Kindle format is still in experimental stages. On the other hand, if you are transferring the Word doc files, you are in luck. It will be converted to Kindle format and the experience will be much closer to an ebook experience. The table of contents is clickable. You get all the themes, fonts and layout options. And changing the font by zooming in and out like on any other ebook also works, which translates to a fantastic experience. So to work around the PDF restrictions, a better idea would be to first convert them into Word doc files and then transfer them to your Kindle ebook reader. And to make this even easier for you, I will link the PDF to the Word converter down below in the description or you can also search for it on Google. It's your choice. So that's all from this video, guys. I hope this helps you out a lot. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.